This young woman sitting in a prison is representative of the human soul being trapped by the body until its emancipation upon death. Maybe not such a cheery subject, but we can see that actually the artist thought that this was quite a hopeful situation to be in, and she always looked forward to that hope of eventual release and emancipation of the soul, as a spiritualist artist who thought that that was just the next great journey. You can see the sunrise just beyond the window, behind the prison bars, indicating that that hope is always there for a better life for the soul after death. What's very interesting about this picture is the method in which it has been painted. Rather than using an oil to bind together her pigments before applying them onto the canvas surface with, pa with paintbrush, De Morgan's actually combined her pigments together using glycerin, a thick, syrupy solution. She claimed that it was a ticklish business to paint in this manner, as the glycerin never dried. It had to be sucked through the back of the canvas with a pumice in order to give the paint uh, the, the painting finish and for it to look as we would expect a painting too. It then had to be finished with a layer of oil and varnish. She was so tired of uh, trying this method that she actually only created two paintings in this way. The other one is Clyde, which is now in a private collection, and we have the Soul's Prison House here in the De Morgan collection.